I want to do my best to stay real with y'all. A few days ago, after filming this video, I was feeling unmotivated and not great. I want to talk about what I did to get through it and things I'll do in the future to avoid that situation in the first place. I just had cross country and I ran around four and a half miles. I just had pancakes for breakfast and then I showered and now it's time for me to start getting stuff done. Even when I have a bad day or I'm in a bad mood, I try to get into God's word. As you all know, I'm a Christian and doing my devotional or reading the Bible always puts me in a better mood. So Reese, what did you just have? My swim meet. Okay, what events did you swim? Free style, backstroke, and butterfly. Okay, how did you do? First place in all of them. Weren't you the only one in butterfly? <laughs> I also try to stick with some of my daily habits, like journaling and doing skincare, because sticking with my routine helps me to get out of a funk. Taste test! I'm trying the cookies and cream milkshake, peanut butter, and milk chocolate. I'm not gonna have the Neapolitan because I don't like strawberries, but Reese is gonna give her rating on it. She dove into that one. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 1. Oh, so like 100 out of 10? Okay, so I'm gonna try the peanut butter. It's so good. This one is like crumbly, but then also like soft. The peanut butter one, like on the outside. <laughs> Next, I'm trying the milk chocolate one and look at it. It's like gooey, like on the inside. Oh. Mm. So it's like crisp on the outside, but it's like soft on the inside. And the chocolate's gooey. That's good. What if they combine this one and the peanut butter? I've had sugar, I've had sugar, I've had sugar! Finally, I'm having the cookies and cream milkshakes. This one's served chilled, so it's like cool. The one I made at home was good, but this is better. Hey, cookies, vlog. Whatever you're editing this, will you zoom in on your legs? She's hot. Oh, wait, hit it, hit it. Okay, okay. Hit it one more time. Yes. It's cute. That's more than your head. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 that thing is so big. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is definitely more than eight legs. Oh my gosh. Oh. Rest days are so important. When it comes to working out, I don't take rest days very often because I enjoy working out. However, I never work out the same muscles two days in a row. If I'm ever feeling sick or something is in pain, I won't work out and will let myself rest so the next time I do work out, I can give it my all and be the healthiest version of myself. It is also important to take rest days in other parts of your life. I'd gotten into such a routine of being productive and getting stuff done that I felt burnt out and tired. Because of this, I didn't get some things done and felt guilty. This led to stress and combined with not getting enough sleep from the night before, I had a headache and felt exhausted. I ended up not even going to dance that night. From now on, I will be taking rest days from working as well. I just had flautas for lunch and for a treat, I'm having a built bar and I'm putting peanut butter on it. Why did I think of this sooner? This is gonna be so good. I have a running training thing again. We're just gonna like work on form and and like fast twitch muscles and all that. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm riding my bike because we're doing it in this church parking lot, which is really close. 
It's literally almost 100 degrees outside. Oh my gosh. That was fun and it was good, but it was hot. One thing that really helped me was reminding myself that it was okay to not complete my to-do list. It isn't the end of the world if I'm not productive 24 seven. And while my perfectionist self had trouble accepting that, I eventually realized that I had more time to get things done the next day and that a break was not only okay, but necessary. Another thing that helped was getting off my phone. While trying to get things done when I just needed rest wasn't helping, mindlessly watching YouTube wasn't going to fix anything either. I eventually forced myself to get off my phone and read a book, which is something I love to do. If you don't like reading, do something else you enjoy, like painting or listening to music. While I didn't do this this time, if I ever feel bad again in the future, I will do some self-care. Self-care is not the first thing I want to do when I'm having a bad day, but it always cheers me up and makes me feel better. Sometimes when I'm in a bad mood, it's my body's way of telling me I need to take care of it. When I'm hungry, I usually act grumpy, and when I have a bad headache, I'll feel tired and unmotivated. When I don't feel great, I try to figure out if something like that is the reason behind it. Switching up your routine can also help prevent you from getting into a funk. I'm very much the type of person to plan things out and stick to routines. So my friends randomly invite me to the pool, or my parents take us to visit our cousins, it pushes me out of my comfort zone, but also makes me happier. After the flight yesterday, I don't think I really filmed anything, but we got back, hung out for a while, we had dinner, we just played some games and stuff. Today, I woke up a little bit later, finished uploading a video, had a small breakfast, and then my dad and I drove and went on a run. I did a tempo run and he did like a walk with like some burpees and stuff. Um, and it was raining, so we got rained on and I also got lost. It wasn't bad though, because I, was I was like at an intersection, so once my dad got back to the car, I was able to text him and tell him where I was, so it wasn't bad. And then we got back and we just had chicken and black bean wraps for lunch, which is really good. And now I'm just kind of relaxing for a bit because I'm tired after that run. I want to swim some later. Hopefully it's not raining as bad. Even if it is raining, I'll probably still swim though. cookies and we literally didn't show anything of us baking them besides like one thing but this is how they look we made them small but we're gonna do a taste this now they look like i'm just gonna take like a little cookies. small i'm gonna take a small one because we're gonna match yeah. like dinner i'm good i'm good it tastes like a like oreo brownie mm -hmm. definitely recommend i'll link the recipe in the description for sure we just filmed a little who's most likely to on mary's channel so go check that out i'll link it in the description now we're probably gonna play some games and stuff
accidentally like go sitting like this. I like slipped or something. I like poked the inside of my nose and now I have a nosebleed. So. So there is a month until school starts and I have not started any of my summer homework, which wouldn't really be that big of a deal. It's just that the homework I have is just time consuming. It's not gonna be like crazy hard. It's just gonna take time because I'm gonna have to read, but I don't have to just have to read. I'm gonna have to annotate and annotating is the hard part and annotating is gonna be the boring part. So I'm gonna start on my history one. For history, I only have to read four chapters out of this book, any four chapters, and then I have to annotate them. So I'm gonna start on that. I was able to get out of a bad mood and back to normal pretty easily, but sometimes it can be harder. Don't be afraid to talk to someone and seek help. If you ever need someone to talk to, leave me a comment or message me privately on Pinterest and I would love to talk to you. And that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. For a chance to get a shout out, share this video with one or more of your friends and let me know in the comments down below. Also in the comments, let me know any themes you'd like for me to cover when I do my voiceovers for the week in my life because I love kind of covering different things like how to stay motivated, things about self care, how I stay active, but I am starting to run out of ideas. So I'd love if you guys had any themes you want me to talk about. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.